So I've done a few tutorials on multiplayer game mechanics in the past, but they were a mess. I think I accidentally forgot to record some parts of that tutorial series, so I wasn't sure many of you were able to get through the whole playlist successfully. Since we are patiently staying at home these days, I thought, why not make a multiplayer game, send a copy to your friends and spend your staycation having fun playing custom-made minigames. And this new series will be just for that. I've decided to use the third person template for this because it already has a playable level in it. The preparation of the project consists of two parts, I've also marked them on the video timeline. So let's begin. We will first need to download this awesome plugin called Advanced Sessions, which is available for all versions of Unreal. I prefer this over Unreal Session functions, because here you can pass additional information about your session, like map name, game mode, server name and so on. I also find Unreal's nodes a bit unreliable sometimes, especially in a packaged game. Move the downloaded file in your engines folder, which is usually located in the program files and inside in Epic Games. Go to Engine and then Plugins, and here is where you will extract the downloaded file besides all other installed plugins. You could put it in your project folder, but here it's installed and it's available for all other projects. Once you've done that, restart the editor. When it opens up, you will probably be greeted with a message saying New Plugins Detected. Click on Manage Plugins and you will notice two new items, which came from the Advanced Sessions plugin. Enable them by clicking their checkboxes and before we start the editor, find Online Subsystem tab on the left list and make sure you have Online Subsystem enabled as well as Online Subsystem Steam. Now we need to tell our project to use Steam as the default online subsystem for handling multiplayer sessions. To do that, we must configure our project's default engine ini file with settings that can be found on the Unreal Engine for documentation site. One thing you should know about these lines is Steam App ID, which is set to 480 here. This particular ID is given to a Steam game called Space War. You can use this app ID to test multiplayer games made in Unreal for as long as you don't release your game. And once you do, you should get your own app ID for the sake of performance. Save the file and restart the editor. To see whether we set up everything correctly, we used to run the game in standalone mode and wait for the Steam overlay to appear in the bottom right corner of the game window. But beware! With the release of 4.25 version, that no longer happens. Steam used to initialize a server on standalone mode startup, but they noted that this was never meant to happen due to some bug. There are still a few ways to check if our setup is working. We could package the game, but there's a more efficient solution, which is to run the game by right-clicking on the U project file and selecting launch game. It's similar to standalone mode, but it's closer to the packaged version. After a few seconds, the overlay finally appears in the bottom right corner. With this, you're ready to move to part 2 when it comes out. As always, write in the comments if you get stuck somewhere. And see you in the next video.